Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and today we're going to talk about something that was kind of briefly mentioned at Todd McFarlane's Comic-Con panel, but then expanded on um, on his Instagram and through his toy company's Instagram and through the Instagram account for Mirrorverse, Disney's Mirrorverse, which is a new mobile game that will be coming to app stores and Google Play at some point this year. I think they've been doing uh, beta testings for it since April in the Philippines or in early May since, you know, since then in the Philippines, and then started picking other regions of the world where they're doing testing. Testing. And there has been a mixed bag of reactions to it so far. There's been, a, you know, some positives that I've seen. And then also you had some areas where people were trying to be constructive or more constructive with their criticism. And you had the Mirrorverse people trying to respond and saying, hey, thanks for letting us know about the bug. We're, you know, we're working it out. So it still looks like it's kind of in development, hopefully the final stages. And we have seen some uh, a kind of a trailer for it. It was like a very quick teaser. So I'll have some of that footage popping up. Um, but mainly we've just been getting like, um, you know, teases. That's, that's it. Like we saw a little bit of that gameplay footage there but uh but really you know we've just been seeing images so if you go to the instagram account or the twitter account for mirrorverse you're not going to learn too much it'll link you to a website but you don't really learn too much there either but if you go to the kabam website which is kabam is the company that's making the game uh they're ones who they've worked with uh, marvel and disney before with uh, contest of champions and they've also done the star wars uprising game that's on mobile and so this is more along those lines. So if those are games you're a fan of, you'll you'll probably like this, especially if you're a Disney fan. Um, but if you're not a big fan of stuff being behind paywalls, you might not like this. I understand the need for paywalls in games that pretty much start off free. Like it's like, hey, you can download this for free right now and, and play a couple levels and you know get a taste of it. But if you want more, you're going to have to pay to get involved in events or get unlock certain characters or whatever. As long as it's reasonable... I don't mind that, but you know, and I don't really like the lotto system either. I like knowing what you pay for. So if they're like, hey, it's five bucks and you get this character, or ten bucks and you get this character, that's fine. But I've been seeing comments saying people who want Elsa have to pay like a hundred dollars to get Elsa according to the most recent update. And that's not a good thing, I feel like. So I don't know, it's hard to comment on the game itself because it's not out yet. But if you go to the website, it does say in a divergent new universe, unrelenting forces of darkness are on the rise, requiring champions mighty enough to meet the challenge disney and pixar characters stand united empowered and amplified like never seen before these powerful guardians must defend their reality and all realities from destruction so i for one i'm intrigued i mean bad reviews don't really deter me uh, especially when most people just complain about the paywall for stuff yes i believe some paywalls do go too high and i definitely agree that that's not a good thing but i understand that these games take money and stuff to make and people you know that make these games uh you know have to measure the success off of them based on how much money comes in you know at least the people that um you know the investors and everyone who got this you know this project off the ground um and all the creative people too so to me i understand the need for stuff that you got to pay to unlock and i'm okay with that as long as i'm not having to drop you know 50 bucks a month just to enjoy the game i don't want to do that if i pay like five or ten bucks a month uh, you know to play it that's fine because after a couple months i'll be done playing it and i basically paid for like a 30 or 40 dollar game and i'm okay with that as long as i'm having fun um but anything more than that is a little excessive i feel but uh what, one thing that intrigued me is you guys know i'm a big fan of todd mcfarlane so the reason why this even popped up on my radar because this was announced back in april and i remember hearing about it and i was kind of like eh, i don't know if i'm not too interested right now then I heard Todd McFarlane is involved as far as making the action figures that go along with this game. And that, uh, I collect everything Todd McFarlane. As you guys see, I'll have some pictures pop up of my Todd McFarlane collection of uh, DC figures that he's currently releasing. And I'm just like trying to hunt down uh, with any extra money I have. In fact, I've even stopped collecting weekly comics as much as I used to. Like I was buying like maybe, you know, five, six, seven, sometimes comic books a week if I could afford them. Uh, some weeks I would only get like, you know, three or four. But uh, but now I've completely stopped doing that. I'm just picking up one Carnage book right now just because I'm reviewing it for the Venom vlog. And I pick up Spawn. I, I, I'm never going to stop reading Spawn. But other than that, I don't really buy m weekly or monthly comics anymore. And that's because I've decided to channel that money and funnel it to collecting the figures that I like, uh, which McFarlane makes, which are amazing. So these DC figures he's done are absolutely awesome. And so when I heard he's doing Disney characters next, I was kind of like, well, what's that going to look like? And so it looks like they maybe had some input. I don't know how much design work Todd McFarlane did if he did anything on the game or if he's just taking the game and turning it into toys. 
I'm guessing it's probably the latter, uh, but either way, some of these figures look kind of neat. So uh, let's show off some of those new Mirrorverse figures that Todd McFarlane showed today on his Instagram account, which are, here's the group shot here, and then we'll go through one by one. But the figures we have, obviously the first two I showed off here are Buzz Lightyear and Jack Sparrow. Those are seven inch figures. So those are gonna be on par or at the same level as the DC Multiverse figures that McFarlane's been making. So they're that tall. Um, not as detailed, although there, there is detail in them for sure. Uh, the Buzz Lightyear looks really crazy. And the Jack Sparrow, I love that he has a skeleton arm and he has some kind of like magic you know, purple mist thing, energy thing coming off of it. Um, apparently he's like very, really lucky in the video game, but he's also contains every curse known to man or something like that. So that's, that's pretty wild that they're, they're you know, they're going, uh, they're having him be like good and bad, you know, in a way. Um, and that's what this whole thing is. It's the mirror verse. I expected all of them to have goatees, uh, because that's a Star Trek reference. And I was like, kind of like, oh, are they doing that? Um, but yeah, it's a different world where the characters, some ended up good, some ended, some ended up bad, um, that were good before. Four and, and vice versa and they're kind of having to team up to fight and so you have bell here these are five inch figures so we have the seven inch line of the two characters i just showed of jack and and buzz but this is the five inch line so we have bell here um, and then we also have uh, and i love her design i like the cape with the rose on it and i like the staff with the rose in the middle so i wonder if she's going to be some kind of mage or something like that's really awesome i'm excited for that um and then we have sully from monsters inc and he looks great he's all battled armored up and we saw some of the footage of him in the the trailer the teaser trailer uh, from the video game so we saw him in action so that's cool that he's in wave one um and there's like a new monsters type show on i think disney plus right now that my nephew's like uh, you know loving so uh so maybe he'll like this figure too uh, then obviously we get mickey mouse and, uh, and Goofy as well, um, you know, so, and they're like in, you know, yeah, they're wearing yellow armor and yellow mage like type wear and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, this just all was neat. I wanted to talk about it because it involved McFarlane and involved Disney, just two things I didn't think I was going to see in the same sentence together. So when I started seeing these posts on online on Instagram, I was like, okay, um, you got my attention at least. And then when I started seeing more about it and learning a little bit more about it, I'm like, okay, yeah, you, you probably have my, uh, you'll probably have my patronage too. I'll probably play this. Um, and I'll probably, sh you know, record the footage of me playing it and post it at some point, either on my gaming channel or maybe even here on this channel, if that's something you guys want to watch. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this down below. Or is this universe interest you at all? Are you a Disney fan? Is this, you know, I mean, obviously it's kind of a cliche story and idea in my mind. Uh, but I think it's, also could be kind of neat but i personally just like the figures uh that mcfarland's making i just i'm like i gotta i'm gonna get them because i'm just thinking like well his dc figures always sell out i always have a hard time finding them and i'm just i was worried i wasn't gonna get this first wave even if i don't buy any more waves after this i at least wanted the first wave of these uh mirrorverse figures so i went ahead and pre-ordered them and they're pretty cheap the the five inch line is 12.99 uh, for those four figures that are in the five inch line so that's not bad um and then the other line the seven inch line they're 19.99 each so also not too bad so for around like 100 bucks you can get the whole set and like i said i pre-ordered it so and they'll charge me i think they're going through gamestop so i'll, I'll get to make four pay payments so they'll split the payments up evenly so it doesn't all hit me at once and that's good and like that's good for me it's good for my wallet uh but you guys let me know uh, you know what your thoughts are of all this you know is there anything you want to add to this any information you've heard that you know i didn't cover anything at all let me know down in the comments below and as always we'll continue the conversation down there and that's it for me it is really late and i need to go to bed because i got to work in a few hours uh, i took a break from writing on neverland to come do this episode and you know that's why like neverland when i was writing it and working on it it just made me think of this game a little bit too because you know neverland is very much inspired by disney storytelling about the peter you know the peter pan animated movie for sure um, but also the book and then hook and you know all these different versions of peter pan over the years um so i i guess i'm just in the mood <laughs> and i was like all right this will be a good game like if it comes out because the toys come out in september if the game also comes out in September or releases around that time, that'll be good because hopefully I'll be done by, with Neverland by then. And then I can just sit and play the game and not feel guilty about not working on my book. So, uh, so you guys let me know again what you think down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.